Good morning. It is Thursday, December 2nd. We launch on the 10th, which means I have about seven days to get everything done. There's a lot of stuff that I did not get done for this launch. Like a lot of collections I did not get done. Like the vintage dresses and like the more cottage core styles I was trying to achieve. But I'm going to be dropping again in April. So I'll have more time to sit down and like properly prepare for that because a lot of stuff got delayed and yeah. So I guess we'll just see what I can do by the tent. Oh, I'm, I want to do like this whole fawn like dare look um, for my page. Well, I just want to do it in general, but I want to do it for my Bambi page and for my shop Bambi. So I actually am going out right now. I'm actually leaving home. I'm actually not working. And I'm going to get some fake plants because I want some to put in like, the little antler things. Um, yeah, so that's what was going on today. Then I'm going to see my best friend for a little bit because I haven't seen her in a while. So I'm just going to see her. But hopefully I could just get home by 5 o'clock <laughs> and like, push out some work tonight. I didn't do any work this morning, I actually. So I the last two days, I slept a total of three hours the, the entire two days. There's a time where I actually went to sleep and I don't know what time I went to sleep at but I woke up and then I was like Danny, how long did I sleep for? And I was like really excited because I thought I like, took a, like, a really well rested nap. So sorry the lighting is bad in my car. So I asked him how long did I sleep for? He was like you went upstairs and then like, within an hour you came back down. I was like Shh. But then last night, well this morning at 6 o'clock I went to bed and I had like 6 hours sleep so that was nice. And I'm trying to like, as I said before, I'm trying to like, rest my body. The thing is, is that the time when I pulled those two all-nighters, I only slept for three hours in that entire time span. I wasn't actually tired. There was a point where I was like yawning and I was like tired for like five minutes. And then I don't know what happened. Like I got like this boost of energy and I forgot I was tired. So, I mean, that's good for me. But when I got tired last night and I know my body needed rest, I was like, let me not play around with this because I cannot afford another migraine. I like just rested. I was stressed a little bit because the last shirt that would have taken me, the, literally the last seam of the last shirt that I did last night, this morning, it should have taken me like two minutes to do. And it just kept getting messed up over and over and over again. And it took me like over an hour to do. And I literally just chopped out the shirt. I was like, <laughs> and yeah. So that's that. When I get back home, I'm going to do, we have like three more styles in that collection to do. Three more styles in that collection to do and um oh shit. so a guy a guy parked next to me and he hit the front of a oh he hit oh poor thing and the man <laughs> i feel so bad to laugh but the man a man came out of the gas station and is laughing at him <laughs> I'm not laughing at the man that hit it, I'm laughing at the man. Oh, I'm laughing at the man that's laughing at him. Oh dear. Okay, it is. Alright, oh sorry. Okay, so I have three more styles in the collection to do. I have to cut binding for two of them and one is done. Last night, we really got through really well with a lot of the clothes because um, Danny actually cut the binding and put them on rolls for me while I sewed. So that helps immensely. Like literally that helped. So we were actually looking to see if we can get somewhere that does pre-cut binding in the colors I want. The only place I could find was a woman in Sweden. And um, I'm definitely not gonna ask anybody here in Barbados because the last time I asked somebody to cut panels for my tops for me, she charged, she wants to charge me $60. And this is for you to just cut the panels, like cut out the patterns for me. And it's like three, three, three pieces per pattern. So I'm gonna have to see if I can source a binding elsewhere i actually should check aliexpress and see what they say okay that's all mm, bye see you soon
So these are my Claire Z tops at different intervals. So all of them have little notes on them, what I need to do with them. So I'm going to be sitting down and busting all of these out. I'm hoping to finish all of these by the end of today. Today is Saturday, December 4th. Um, and these need to be done by the 7th. And I need to do more. I need to do all the browns that are under there that you saw me lay out. So I'm hoping to just bust a whole bunch of these today. And yeah, let's get into it. So this is what I have to do in the next two days. And this is not even the end of it yet because we still have some more whites to do. We have the pattern that I was working on. I have to get at least one size of each of those out. I Yeah, I really want to get one size of each of those out by the launch. Yeah, so it may not look like a lot there. But let me show you how thick these are here. Okay, so this alone, one okay exactly 100 goodbye because i have work to do i can't talk to you so i have decided that i'm only going to do one size per color of the tops that we're doing well, for the newer styles because one we don't have a lot of time we don't have a lot of time and i don't want to be doing a whole bunch of styles and a whole bunch of colors and i don't know how my target audience feels about it yet so for me the best thing to do is just put one of each size and feel it out and see how they feel about it and then we'll know if to put it in the next drop i cut down the shirts by a lot because to do just like one part to do the embroidery part on the top is like it takes seven minutes and 30 seconds and i had a hundred to do we decided we deduced we didn't deduce we calculated that seven minutes and 30 seconds with a hundred tops would be 730 minutes divide that by 60 that's like over 12 hours that i will be spending on those things i don't have that sort of time i have two days it's monday right now and we don't have that time so i like just chopped everything in half and i'm still trying to do like literally as much as possible and we're gonna have to push back the launch date regardless we're gonna have to push it back so i'm thinking that we're gonna do it on wednesday the, the following wednesday because i still have to take pictures i've been sewing my butt off and i haven't had time to like make myself cute and take pictures but i'm feeling a little bit better because now it's less work on me i'm still trying to do as much as i can and whatever i get done i get done whatever i don't get done will be done in the april drop and that way i'll have way more time 
to work on these things because I have all the attachments. The reason I wait here so late is because I need a certain attachment for my sewing machine. And it's coming from America. And yeah, you know how that goes. Let's just see how much we get done now. I'll put some stuff in the bin. I'm working on stuff as we speak. Yeah, it's, it's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. And you're going to get it done. Even if you just do one of these, so. Okay. The next drop will be better. It'll be better because we'll be more prepared. We'll be figuring out our content. That sort of stuff, so. Okay, time to sew. Bye.